So, for example, with respect to diversity, like I told you, uh, which is one of the agenda, you know, restore unity and diversity is to create equal opportunity for all Nigerians, to balance the system of government in Nigeria where irrespective of your tribe, your ethnic background or religion, you will have true faith, you will bear true faith and allegiance to the flag and the republic. The constitution says that the government of the federation and its agencies must be run in such a manner that it will reflect the principles of federal character so that no part of the country will dominate the government to a point where it will create problem. If you look at the, the next uh, line, it says so that the people, is so that we will command national loyalty and national unity. Loyalty to the flag and to the republic comes when the people feel they are part of the country, when they feel they can achieve the highest dream. Nobody in Nigeria should say, I will never be president in Nigeria. The minute somebody settles in his mind that the system is wired in such a way that he cannot achieve his highest dream and aspirations in life, then that person is being excluded from government and it is anti-constitution. I think who wants to build a country where the people will have faith and bear true allegiance to the flag and to the republic. And that means the people will feel a sense of belonging, sense of inclusion, and sense of participation. And I will like you, irrespective of where you come from. The opportunities will be created to you, irrespective of where you come from. There is no part of the country that will get opportunity over and above another. And this is very critical in promoting national security. Because until, why do you think people can die for the American flag? They say the Americans are more patriotic than any citizen of the world because the government of America can go to any length to promote and protect the Americans. You know, you saw that sometime last year or so, where an American citizen was abducted by insurgents somewhere within the borders of Nigeria. America sent its resources to deliver that person. That type of a thing is still hope and confidence in the people and the citizens. And they said, I can die for the country. Think not what the country will do for you and think what you can do for the country. That is the approach that Atiku Abubakar wants to bring to restore our unity in diversity. The second one is